and just a few activities. I've got a submit for permit. I have to order my on-site setup materials, receive my permit. I then do two days of site setup, then proceed with my dust control and air scrubbers. And I've stopped here, but you'd certainly have you know, a much larger project folding out for what you're building. So I'm gonna show you two things here for how we both add relationships and two, show how we show what project phase our activities fit into. So I find the easiest thing to do is to add all of your actions here, your activities. And that again is simply by clicking new, schedule item, writing in the activity. So activity, activity new. And if you don't do anything else, it simply drops it in after everything else. So it'll show up down here at the bottom. And it shows up on the schedule as the last thing you just added. So when you add all these things, you wanna move the activities roughly into order for how they're gonna work. So I've set my schedule up to start on Friday. I have told BuilderTrend that I do not work Saturdays or Sundays. And I've done that again by going into the uh, job info. And down here under working days, I've said Monday to Friday. So it is not using weekends. So I have my activity on Friday. I spent for permit. I received my permit the next Friday. On that day, I can order my site set of materials. I then have determined that my site setup on site is two days. I have a two day activity. I then have dust control and air scrubber set up and then my new activity. So I can drag these into order for how I think they can work. So I think it's reasonable that in the second week, starting on Monday, I can set up and get them into place. I wanna get these roughly into order and have the duration set before I start to add relationships like this. Okay, so to, to change durations, you can do that in a couple ways. If order site set of materials is more than one day, you can simply grab the outside of the activity and you can make it longer just by dragging it over. You can alternatively um, double click on the activity and it pulls up the data around it and you can change the work days here, change that to two and save that. Start time. Save and then close. So you can do that too. Because I'm only looking at this being a one day activity, I'm just gonna put that back to what I had previously. Okay, so adding relationships. We talked in class about different types and the most predominant one is going to be a finish to start and a start to start and build a trend. So to do this simply, you simply mouse over the activity. It's gonna display two balls on either side of activity. And if you're doing a finish to start, so submit for permit, you're gonna finish the activity and receive permit starts from the previous one finishing you grab that ball and just connect it to the beginning of receive permit. If, as soon as I receive that permit, I can, again, finish the activity and start to order my materials. I grab the ball and drag it backwards to the beginning of order site set of materials and displays like that. So I can proceed through the entire thing. So once I order site set of materials, that again is a finish to start, I can drag that over. The other way I can add relationships is you can do it manually through the activity through predecessors. So I need to order site setup materials before I do my site setup. So I can click on site setup. I can go down here to predecessor information. And this is a list of all of the activities you've added to date. So the previous activity for site setup is going to be my order site set of materials. I simply click that. I tell it it's a finish to start and I click save and close. And it's gonna display that arrow. I find though in GANView, it is much faster to just drag the dots and show these connections. So for finish to starts, they all work like that. If on the same day that I receive my permit, I can start those two activities at the same time, I can grab the ball before receive permit and drag that down 
to order materials. It displays a start to start relationship. So that's the first thing you have to do when you advance your schedules. The other thing we can do is we can add phasing. So there are 10 phases in this bitter trend account setup. I, and I might want to know when I have, you know, 60, 70, 100 activities, what phase they fit in to simplify my calendar view. So I can click on an activity like submit for permit. I can click on this next page, it says phases and tags. I'll go down to phase and I pick the project phase. So because this is offsite planning, we're doing this before being on site. I'll pick offsite planning, click save and then close. Receiving permit also happens offsite. So I go to phases and tags, offsite planning, and I can click save. I can click close. Order site setup materials. I might actually think that's actually uh, regarding on-site setup. So I'll click on-site setup, click save. And you notice here in Builder Trend, right now nothing's happening. We've done all that work, nothing's changed. If we go up to the top of our calendar, there's another toggle that says phases. And if you click that, we now show offsite planning is six days. On-site setup is only one day because we've only set up order site setup materials. If I go over to my site setup, which arguably is a good example of a on-site setup phase, I click that and click save. And you'll see that phase is now extending um, dust control and air scrubber setup would also be considered on-site planning. And again, I can click on that phase and click save and close it. So now we can see that on the left hand side, because I've added these phases, I actually have these condensing drop downs. I can close these bars and have a much more simplified view by looking at my calendar. And then I can expand those and see all the detail within those. So this is this new activity I, I added, so we can delete that for clarity. And yeah, so with these phases, we have nice clean ways of seeing it. We can expand it and see that. So in your next calendars, definitely make sure we are adding relationships, again, manually by moving these balls and connecting them, or to opening and changing the predecessor information right here. And then of course, next is making sure you're adding your phases so that you have a calendar view that you can simplify, especially on those calendars where you have more than you know 50 activities, they can become overwhelming if you don't have a phase view. Okay, so good luck with this on your next calendar and I'll see you in class.